written in front of us it says and claim that the Jews who they corrupted their Torah supposedly they have in their Torah a verse it says in chapter 9 verse number 30 we will read together the Jews call Uzair the son of Allah so how you search the whole Torah and you could not find the verse saying that Uzair is a son of Allah any Muslim can answer us how you search all the Bible but you could not find that verse that mean uh, you Muslims are lying Allah is lying and there is no such a verse and you are confirming that same time your God Allah confirm that in the Bible the Christian they have in their book that Christ is the son of Allah so you said you search the Bible you do not find that which is a, absolutely a joke because we can show you the whole book from the beginning from page number one is speaking about the Messiah the Word of God who became a flesh you know the word son which the Muslim don't want to understand they think that God have you know kids hmm? they think when we say uh, Jesus is son of God that means God he have a wife and he have a he have a he have a sons and that actually not only their understanding this is the understanding of the author of the Quran Aka Muhammad read with me carefully please if we go in the Quran <coughs> I will choose a different verse. The Quran is the again. I'm not insulting. The Quran is the most stupid book ever, and I challenge any Muslim to say I don't agree with you. Let me first be sure that our Skype is on. Okay, so Muslims they can call in case all the Muslims can call now. Only I don't accept calls from Christians. All right. This is the Quran in front of us. Look what Allah He said. This is Allah is talking. So don't be upset from the Dean show saying stupid things because Allah says more stupid things. Allah He said, and I will read for you from the Muslim translation as usual, not my translation. بديع السماوات والأرض أن يكون له ولد ولم تكن له صاحبة. Let us see what does that mean. Chapter six, verse one o one, translation. Okay. This is as you see the translation made by Muslims come from the Muslims. I have nothing to do with it. I'm just reading for you what it does say there. To him is due the primal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son when he has no concern? <laughs> I cannot hold myself from laughing. After 2,000 years, not even a single donkey who claimed to be a scholar in Islam, he know even what Christianity is about. And that is not to blame on the scholars of Islam, which I believe they are donkeys, because their God himself is the biggest donkey. Look at this God, what he is saying. How he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Like, what the heck? <laughs> How can he read with me carefully, Muslims, at the stupidity of the Quran author? Now, you want to tell me this is your God, you want to tell me this is Muhammad, I don't care. Whoever said that is a stupid. For many, many reasons. Number one, Christians don't believe that God have a concert. And that after they have sex, they have a son from that. Number two, God do not need to have sex 
to have something to happen because don't you you Muslims you say in your Quran if God you wanted something to be he say be and it's going to be and this is taken from the Bible too so how come now Allah saying how can he have a son the God who questioned by saying who can he how can he that is not God for now how can you be God if you cannot do something unless which make it more horrible unless you have a woman to sleep with so what this God is saying to us a clear with the clear words that Allah cannot be God for how can he have a son when he has no concert so the only way for Allah to have a son is to have a woman and that mean that this God is a man like me if you ask me why you don't have kids I would say how I can have kids when I don't have a woman so Allah he gave us a clear definition of himself that he is limited and he cannot do things unless he have something else the necessity of having kids is to have a male and female and this necessity proved to us that Allah he cannot accomplish any mission unless he have the same as we have we need to have a woman that is an answer of a stupid God who cannot be God for he just confirmed to us that he is limited the same as any of us he cannot have women he can he don't have a woman so how, how he can have a son now this is again proven to us that the one who made the Quran is a stupid why that's mean that the Quran teach that we Christians believe that God have a wife and that wife is Mary but all of us we knew that this is absolutely stupid and this is not true and even the Quran confirm that Mary she gave birth to Jesus and she was virgin so what does the do have to do with us how you can give me such an answer when we as a Christian and you know that and this is confirming your Quran and you agree with it that Mary she was a virgin so which mean when we say virgin it's mean nobody nobody doesn't matter who have sex with her so what do you mean how can he have a son when he has no girlfriend and why he used the word girlfriend I mean isn't it a shame that even Allah is involved in the world of dating in Arabic he did not say a wife he said sahiba so uh, how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here would like to give us a call if you like to call us if you like to call me my Skype is open please feel free uh, uh, you know uh, I will be happy to hear your voice and you can refute me if I'm wrong all right feel free now this God who he said how I can have a son while I don't have a girlfriend was he aware that in different verse he said if he want to take a girlfriend he will but she have to be from the virgins in the heaven hmm yeah, my throat is not doing good because I'm talking too much. That's normal, right? Thank you very much. <clears throat> In order to make my throat feel better, I have to stop talking 